today for the first time on uh, this channel I will uh, uh, present uh, your uh, a relay extension and uh, 32 channel relay extension uh, from uh, Keen uh, Coney. Uh, this relay extension has been sent uh, to me uh, from uh, Keen Coney company to try to integrate it with uh, Logso. Uh, happy to inform you, yes, integration can be done very easy. Uh, and um, I got uh, this device for free. Uh, I'm not paid for this video. Uh, once I finish uh, all the testings, I'm allowed to keep uh, the device, not to send it back. Won't have any influence on my kind of review, I would say. Of course, we will do a review on this one, and then uh, the following videos, I will show you how to configure it and uh, uh, integrate it with uh, Logson. Uh, it's a um, 32 channels relay extension. We have 32 channels on the relay output and uh, 6 uh, channel input. This one comes with uh, a serial cable and an extension for the physical connectors for each channel, 32 input. If you wanted to connect uh, um, uh, switches, uh, physical switches, you can use uh, this input. This board will communicate with the relay extension via uh, serial cable. Those two, the, they will be connected. Okay, and uh, you have the second option. To use a remote control over the I think 400 megahertz I think it's 400 megahertz usually and uh, you could uh, switch on and off all the um, 16 uh, channels you comes with a second remote control as well uh, those remote controls are not the most uh, beautiful and the best uh, remote controls on the planet but uh, they do the job I would not uh, use these ones but depends okay this one can be installed into the um, uh, wiring cabinet as well onto the uh, DIN uh, rail uh, this one comes with uh, plastic uh, attachment and it goes the other way around and then like this uh, okay something like this I believe and I will I think it's this way here should be this way I believe yeah, that will get. Uh huh. And you can pull. Uh huh. That feels like a spring in here. Okay. I got you now. And to take it off, you can take it out. For that. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That's a build. It's a very strong build. A metal case yeah. and uh, the connectors you can unplug them in a set of six I think or oh, eight one two three four five six seven eight yeah eight of them and um, are the um, uh, cage uh, style very very good I love these ones most of the uh, 
cheap devices what I find online they are just with a screw uh, tightening up the cable but this is with a cage this is a good one okay if you have a ethernet cable you can access uh, by, uh, from the lock zone over the ethernet cable or the Wi-Fi depends which one you choose to use it uh, 12 volts power supply and the input okay well I'm the most curious is what's inside I would like to open the box and check what's inside I lost my screwdriver here I need to find it oh, it's a tiny one but not that tiny this is not the best one it doesn't fit properly uh -huh. it's hiding in here okay I'm curious what's inside I hope you guys are curious as well Nope, it's getting dark outside. Someone had a problem with the car. The alarm and went off. But this is... Finally, we don't have... Uh, oh, ugly weather. It's quite good. Okay, come on. Oh, look at this. Okay, as you can see, this is a very strong uh, metal. What do I have here? The Wi Fi dongle um, chip, the Ethernet chip, yeah, and a lot of relays. Okay, you see the specs of the, the relays. I can see that 10 amps. Okay. 10 amps 277 volts AC or 15 amps 225 volts AC okay that's not bad that's uh, good specs hopefully they're good quality so I can't say anything about the, this one because I didn't had any chance to test them it looks like a Fairly simple board. Okay, we have to take this off as well with my tiny screwdriver. Okay, take the ones off. See what underneath. Might be, I would say, a microcontroller of some some sort. Must be a RAM and a memory I believe ok, that comes off I should take this Wi-Fi connector off a little bit easier ok, we slide it out come on uh -huh. very tight fit those are optocouplers okay the microcontroller yes AT 32F 43AVG T7 that's an ARM chip okay that's good it's quite simple nothing out of uh, ordinary those are the LEDs for the relays the status of the Wi-Fi and uh, on the Wi-Fi the this first LED is when you set up the Wi-Fi as a client the server or UDP the latest um, uh, upgrade of the firmware it allows you to do the uh, 
MQTT and on this side and again on the Ethernet you can set it up with um, the client server UDP and the, as I said the earliest is the MQTT okay designed by King Cooney yeah it doesn't look bad at all I like it it's a very robust I like it those those traces are not very thick I would uh, I would design them more thick uh, layers Yeah, the contact on these ones are on the surface. Yeah, it's quite difficult to run those cables. But what I would do, I would, I would run this one, these two, on the top side, and I will bring on the bottom side, uh, side down. Uh, traces from the relays yeah and this had to go underneath yeah that's it that's the extension oh I need to put it in the right way in you know, I like it I like it it's quite uh, strong uh, strong build it's not plastic like uh, most of um, the relay extension you find in the market, especially from Luxon, and they are all plastic. They are very beautiful, I'm not saying not, but this is uh, quite nice, it's strong, doesn't melt. I had a um, uh, dimmer extension from Luxon for example and uh, there was a loose uh, contact or something and the case started uh, melting but it won't be the case in this one that's not bad, not bad okay, wait, connect the Wi-Fi again okay back in the lead It's all right. I don't think it matter. It's the same. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's the same one. Okay. That's it. Now this. I believe those are optocouplers. Oh, you have a switch all on and all off. Interesting. Power in, power out, power in as well. Uh, I never use this one for the moment, but uh, I will uh, use it, promise you. Okay. Thank you for watching and